is Pi Day. That's Pi with a P and an I. We know this Pi Day is all about math, but we couldn't resist celebrating with a little P-I-E. You don't even need an oven to whip up this tasty pie recipe. Becky Hall is a home baker and is here to show us how to make a no-bake pie recipe that is tasty and simple to make. Welcome, Becky. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. And you brought a delicious flavor of pie. I'm I a did. chocolate lover, but this is great, too. Key lime. You can't go key wrong with key lime. lime. Yeah. It's great, and it's really good to do with the kids, too, because it is no-bake. It's really right. easy. It's stuff that they can help jump in and help with, so it's going to be really good. I'm excited. So All right. So what ingredients do we need to create this key lime pie? Very basic ones, actually. Um, in the crust, we just have our graham cracker and our margarine melted down, put together. They do actually have these pre-made at the store, oh. already in tins and everything, so that's super easy. Um, then we're going to have cream cheese, lime juice, heavy whipping cream, and then anything you want to decorate it with. Okay. So we'll start with that. So is this pretty similar to a key lime recipe that you would make by baking it? Is it pretty yes. close? Um, okay. The only difference with this one to make it no bake, um, we use a heavy cream and as you whip it, it gets thicker in volume and that's what kind of stabilizes so you don't have to bake it at all. Right, yes. okay. Not, not, not fat free, right. definitely, but it is really, really good, really easy and it's so much fun. Okay, well let's, let's talk a little bit about the first step. So once we have our graham cracker and our margarine mixed together, place in or if we just buy it at the store. Or just buy it at the store. The next what thing you're gonna do? wanna do is take your cream cheese and your sweetened condensed milk, whip that really well until it's very smooth. The next thing we're gonna do is wanna ha um, put in our lime juice. Now tell me about this lime juice because there's limes and there's key little lime. key limes. Um, there's, <laughs> key limes are about half the size of a regular lime. Um, they do have a sweeter flavor, um, whereas limes are a bit more sharp. And that's what I like personally in a pie since you're gonna coat it with tons of whipped cream and tons of flavor. I just like it a little sharper. Okay. So we're gonna mix in our lime juice, to just incorporate it. it. Smells good. It smells so good. Um, if you like a little more lime, you can always zest the lime into it as well. Get Is that there a right certain there. type of cream cheese you're using? Um, just regular old cream cheese, nothing fancy. Could you use like fat-free if you wanted to? You could to? use okay. fat-free. Um, I really don't know if that would even make worth the effort, honestly, since we're going to have so much heavy cream in here. Right. But yeah, if you wanted to cut some out, you can definitely do light. All right, so we got our lime juice incorporated. Next thing we're going to want to add in is our heavy cream. Okay. And I'll have you do that How for me. How much heavy cream? Whole thing. That's going to be about a cup. All right, there we go. All right, and this one you're going to want to whip in. Um, you're going to need to do it for about two to three minutes until it does kind of come together and stabilize. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you do this. I don't have, like, very good luck. This would probably be going everywhere right now if yeah. I was doing it. So you just whip it together. Whip it together, and you just want to go until you get um, nice thickness, nice volume, until the peaks start to form. Okay. Now, if you were to make this and have a baked key lime pie right yeah. next to it, how would you describe the difference in taste? The taste is exactly the same. Um, the only difference is this has more of like a cheesecake texture. The no bake The one. no bake one. Um, whereas when you have your regular baked one, it's just gonna make your crust a little crispier. It's just gonna have more of a milky smoothness to it, not okay, so much of a cheesecake. Yeah. yeah. All right, so there we go with that. All right, I'll knock these off. And then all you're gonna have to do is just pour this right into the crust and that should be about This is ready. the part where I, as a kid, would just sit and clean the Lick off. away, yeah, go for like, it. So I'm gonna pour this in now? Pour that right in there. The whole thing? Whatever right. will fit in there. We're gonna get it overflowing. <laughs> Look how creamy this got. So you whipped it for a little bit shorter. Did you say you normally would do it for like? So about two to three minutes. Okay. It depends on um, the temperature of your cream cheese. Okay. Um, it's, this one's a little warmer, so it whipped a little faster. Oh, okay. Um, if it goes straight out of the fridge, you're gonna have to whip it a lot longer in the first step. Um, and then to get the milk a little bit more whipped too. Okay, so if you want it to be a little yeah. easier, you and could it, let it, it sit. It depends out. on your mixer too. Some are higher speed, some are not. It just depends. Okay, and then I just smooth it out. Smooth it out. Ooh. All right. This looks so good. And then um, I did top my finished one with homemade whipped cream. Homemade. That's homemade. That's just heavy cream in a mixer um, with about a tablespoon of vanilla. Easier is just to go out and buy some Cool Whip or Ready Whip. Whatever's easier, it's all about easy. How in the world did you get it to look so pretty? It looks like it came out of a can. Yeah, you just top piping bag, whipped up in piping bag. Oh. Yeah, so I don't have any of that here, but I do have some different toppings. Okay. I do have some lime wedges, however you want to top it, some graham cracker crumbs, or I have some toasted coconut. Okay, so I can just kind of sprinkle Take whatever it. you want, make your pie. Is it okay if I use my hand? Yeah, go for it. So we can just sprinkle this all yeah, over. Yeah, whatever you like. You can top it with anything you like. My kids are really big into M&M's, so I'm sure we'd have M&M's on here. I was going to say, here. you could add some chocolate what, to yeah, this. Yeah, whatever your kids like. That's what's really fun about this pie is because it is no bake. Your kids can get involved. 
they can decorate and put whatever they want on it. It's just, it's awesome. What's the most unique thing that you've ever topped it with? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. kind of a traditionalist when it comes to pies. Yeah. I'm kind of my, lem like my lime wedge and my toasted coconut. I like what I like. I love coconut. Yes. Do you toast it yourself? I do. Um, and for that, you just put it in a clean, dry skillet, um, medium low heat. You just put it in there and you really have to watch because it can burn really quick. But you just toss it around until it starts to get brown and you can really start to smell the coconut. But it's super mm. easy. This is fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of therapeutic. It really is. Baking in itself is really therapeutic. Yeah. I love doing that. Like every week we have something at my house that's baked. So. Okay. And then we have some lime wedges. Yes. And you can just put those wherever you want. I'm just going to kind of drop a few right in the middle. And then storing it. How long will this last? It'll last about two to three days in the fridge if it's covered. Um, just bring it out, let it go to about room temperature before you serve it, just so it's nice and warm, and nice and gooey, and then that's it. If it lasts. If it lasts. Two to two three, to three days. days. Yeah. Yes. Usually that's a sitting. Well, so. <laughs> after this, we're going to have to, during the break, get a knife, slice it so that Cut we can all taste it, because yes. this looks delicious. <laughs> so thank you so much thank for coming you. on and teaching us how to do this so we can all celebrate tomorrow. Yes, it'll be a good pie day. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>